For this non-demo and I, we're checking out the demo for Hero of the Kingdom. Looks very strat. Uh, very... I don't know if these are retro graphics or just all they could muster. The trees look nice. I'll give it that. The cliffs look okay. So, uh, let's check it out, I guess. Another sunny day on our farm, but it is not an ordinary day at all. My father is going to the market in town. I have to help him gather what he needs. Son, come here. I need your help. I'll beat your face in. My father never leaves the house without his herbs. That kind of dad. I have to go to the nearest meadow and pick some. Alright, that's easy enough. He didn't even go anywhere. I am quite good at picking herbs and mushrooms. I feel like I'm gifted when it comes to this. Well, enjoy a future in mediocrity. <laughs> Father needs... Okay, same thing, whatever. There you go, we got herbs. No, we don't have herbs. Done! I do my best when it comes to helping my father. Life is hard living here alone. My father is ready to leave for town. I would love to go with him, but I know I cannot. Somebody has to stay at home. Dad's gonna die! Goodbye, son, and take care of our farm while I'm gone. I'll beat your ass. I told my father goodbye, and his wag wagon moved forward. So apparently it runs on farewells. I was sad to see him go. It's gonna be a pretty boring week on this empty farm. Or is it? Evenings are so cold at this time of the year. A nice fire would warm up this place, and knowing that time had changed would have, you know, been nice too. I should gather some firewood. I think there's plenty in the dry valley. I'll take my axe from the barn and I am ready to go. It's a bit of a tense shift, isn't it? Okay. Axe acquired. I have taken some tools from the barn. Apparently I get a saw and a hammer too. Achievement earned. Get working tools. Yay. Let's go murder some trees. You don't move! There's no indicator of you in this and it drives me nuts. Like just a little dude walking around would be great. The, the trees don't change either. And I apparently lost two lives. I think I have enough... I've cut enough firewood for now. I can carry it in my backpack. Hope to do. Because that matters. Um, I can't click that, but this popped up. No. Oh, there's a thing down here. Okay, that's just to show me. Okay, all right. Firewood for hearth. Or is it hearth? I say hearth. Uh, the wood made a warm blaze in the fireplace. All by itself. Wood's kind of weird here. It's getting dark. I should get some rest and restore my power. It is always a pleasure to have a tasty dinner. Fair enough. Just steal bread from the bushes. <laughs> bread tree. Oh, we already had bread. I gotcha. I was tired because of the work, so I fell asleep quickly. It was a short night. It's morning! I feel refreshed with plenty of power. I need to repair our lookout tower on the hill. Last week's storm almost completely destroyed it. That house is a lookout tower. This won't be easy! The tower is seriously damaged. I will need a lot of wood. Luckily, I have a huge store of pornography down in my room. I will have enough wood if I take a look at it. Okay, so Axe gets garbage wood, Saw gets good wood?
They really hand out the achievements like candy, don't they? It's like a Halloween up in this. Build, build, build. Now we got a tower for some reason. It was quite a challenge to repair it. I have used all the wood. I am really glad the lookout pow power lookout tower is repaired. I always come here when I am home alone or feeling lonely. Sometimes I just stare into the distance and imagine myself as a hero adventurer. Bum bum bum! Foreshadowing. Uh, perhaps my dreams will come true one day. I got famous for building the tower. Oh shit! I just lit my farm on fire. The house is on fire! Ha, ha, ha. Oh no! I can see our farm is on fire! What's going on? I have to hurry home right now! It's terrible! Our farm is completely ruined! The fire has destroyed everything! As I approach carefully, hiding in the bush, I cannot believe it! Bandits! They've burned down our farm! But why? Because it was made of wood and... I don't know... The fire was still burning when the bandits left. They just disappeared and left everything on the farm. That's strange. They didn't come to rob us. They just destroyed the farm. Oh, God. What am I going to do now? I should search all the ruins and save what can be saved. There isn't much left. I found something to eat and a purse of gold. I can't stay here. I'll take everything I found and go north to find my father. Time to find a body. This is the way north to the mountain pass. My father left just yesterday. Now it's me who has to go. I hope I'll find him soon. I must hurry. Do I have any agency at this at some point? Like, I know this is a tutorial, but does it stop holding your hand eventually? If not, it's really not that much of a game. The road through the mountain pass is buried under stones. I'll try to clear it. It's useless. I can't do it alone. I'll have to find another way north. But I can use all these fallen stones. Free rocks. Enjoy. Seems like there's an old path uh, between the rocks, but it's overgrown with bush. A deep, moist valley over there. Hit it with an axe. There's just so much ripe for euphemisms in this. So, it's done. I managed to get through, but my axe is ruined. I broke it when I accidentally hit a rock. Idiot. The rope bridge goes over the mountain pass to the opposite side. It looks like somebody destroyed it deliberately, even though it's still mostly there. One of the support ropes is cut. I'll need a new rope and some skilled workers to repair it. I find myself confronted with a complicated task. Luckily, there's always a way to get a hint at what's the best thing to do. I should hire some workers from the quarry to help me with the bridge repair. No way. Even though they work with stone and not bridges, but okay. This wall camp is probably for workers from the quarry in case they want to get some rest. I hope it won't be a problem if I stay here for a while. Food and some sleep will give me some new power. I could not sleep on the hard ground, but I could eat some bread at least. I feel much better now. Workers from the choir are willing to help me with the bridge repair. It won't be for free. Tis this is the price for our help. Deal with it. The merchant gives me a sidelong stare. I think it has been a while since he saw a stranger. He offers me a rope. This is exactly what I need to hang myself and end this misery. It's really barter if you're paying in gold. I think the gold has helped me to win the merchant's trust. Maybe he will sell me some other stuff next time. Let's build a bridge. What are the support? Oh yeah, we we I keep forgetting if it, it just pops up the same quest. Let's pull now. Hold the rope tightly. Done. It was quite difficult, but we managed to finish it. The workers returned to their jobs in the quarry. Great, now I can continue on my way. This is supposed to be like a pssst, pssst instead of a hush-hush. 
Hey, come over here. The local farmer's hiding in the bush. He's waving at me. It seems like he wants to talk to me. Hello, little boy. I started to talk with him. He told me that he had seen a group of bandits chasing a man through the mountain pass. They destroyed the road to the north and damaged the rope bridge. Yeah, we've established that. I have a bad feeling that the unknown man could be my father. I'm worried about him. Totally dead. Totally dead. Will you help me hide a body? The farmer insists that I follow him to his farm. He wants to thank me for the bridge repair. With popsicles. He's got popsicles in his basement. Oh, I don't have a basket. I entered a simple but cozy farmhouse. The farmer's wife set the table and offered us a delicious dinner. As I was eating, the farmer asked me some questions about my journey. I told him every about my father and about everything that happened in the past few days. My story must have touched him because he insisted on helping me. He wanted to join me and show me the safest way to the north. I agreed, of course. A man who knows the area might be useful. He's going to touch your butt. He's going to touch your butt. Or you could probably go to the merchant and buy a basket and get those herbs for later. Help! Help me! There's a man in the meadow with a nasty bite on his leg. He says that he was attacked by wolves, but he managed to escape. He asked me for help. I need a healing potion. That would definitely help him. He said that there's an old herbalist in the West Woods who can make such a potion. <sighs> supposed to play these demos to completion, so here goes nothing. That hunter's camp in a forest glade. The ideal place to rest. I ate some fresh fruit and I took a nap in the tent. It was just enough to get some power. He's just gonna basically home invade everybody on his path, isn't he? I don't have a weapon to fight the wolves. The old man with a long gray beard lives in this cottage. He's really strange. He talks to himself. I asked him to give me a potion made of herbs, but he grunted that he didn't have any. He was silent for a while and grumbled that he needed some herbs. If I pick two baskets of herbs for the old herbalist, he will help me. So he gave me some baskets, I'm guessing. I'll grab these first, just to not have to come back. Alright, two baskets of herbs. I brought two baskets full of herbs. He looked surprised when I gave him all the herbs. He went to the small back room and quickly returned with a healing potion. Herbalist said that he noticed my talent for picking herbs. I'm so tired of saying herbs! And he's willing to teach me some new skills, but I have to pass a little test. He wants me to find two dozen rare mushrooms. He says they grow in the woods. Then we're gonna have a real party. Alright, let's take this Chumba's potion. Thank you, stranger. You have, thank you, stranger. You saved my life. Wait, let me give you something. He pulled out some gold coins and clumsily shoved them into my hands. I think the wounded hunter feels much better. It seems much that a severe injury cannot be healed by a single potion. He promised to show me a secret place. Mm, better not be his butthole. If I show, if I get him another healing potion. Okay. So can we do that again? Enough herbs for now. You can sell me the healing potion anytime. All right, let's buy. Uh, do I have enough to trade for anything? We can do that and. The yeah, we'll trade fruit. He's almost without pain, so he can walk now carefully. I am curious about that secret place. It's gonna be his butthole. Oh good, he actually moved. The hunter's secret place should be close to the rocky bluff. Hmm, the bush has really grown since I was last here. There should be a small cave in this bluff. Try to find it. After an endless hour searching this prickly bush, I finally found the entrance to the secret cave. Who knows what's inside this dark cave in the rocky bluff? If I want to find out, I will need a torch. Never ends with this. Maybe the merchant in the mountain patch should have some torches to sell. Okay. So we're definitely going shopping. I want a torch.
at all I can afford right now. In a dark cave slow, the flickering light of the torch revealed something I did not want to see, a skeleton. I overcame my fear and took the area around the skeleton. I found a purse of gold and a dagger. It's a bit rusty, but I can still use it. I don't want to end up like this poor man. Get a weapon. Stab wolves. Achieve progress. I love the stabbing motions. It was a hard fight, but my new friend from the farm and I managed to kill the wolves. The hunter didn't help? What a dick. The last, as the last, last wolf fell, I decided to take their beautiful fur. It is pretty valuable. This fight with, with the wolves was a valuable experience for me. I think I can earn my living as a hunter. For, now, first he wants to gather herbs and mu uh, mushrooms. Now he wants to hunt. <sighs> Make up your mind. Last time I felt like a hunter was when I was in the woods with my father searching for bird eggs. Oh no, this is my father's wagon. It is completely destroyed. What has happened? Bandits fucked up your dad's shit. I searched the wagon with my farmer friend and we realized it had been an ambush. I'm pretty sure those ugly bandits are responsible for this. They're going to pay for what they have done. I, I am sorry for what has happened to your father. I apologize, but I have to go home. It's much too dangerous for me. So you're going to leave this kid with a rusty knife to handle all this. My friend has decided to go back to his farm. I understand. He has family and he has to take care of them. He gave me a map of this area he made as a boy. I'm sure I can use it for better orientation on my journey. I've opened the map from the farmer. Only the nearest area around the farm is depicted. It doesn't matter. Every time I find a new place, I'll draw it onto the map so I can return whenever I want. Cool. Whatever. Okay, I mean, we visited, or there's stuff, to, I don't know what that means. Whatever. I find myself alone in a difficult situation. I don't know where my father is, but I don't believe he is dead. I feel he is alive. I have to help him. This feels like an MMO without the MM. Or the O. The miller asked me to help him finish the water mill. He's quite desperate, as the mill should have been finished by now. Of course he's desperate. He's asking a kid with a knife. There's nobody willing to bring the prepared wood from the forest to the mill. Yeah. This is click and do busy work the game. Also, look at maps. Ugh, not interested. But if you want to bore the crap out of yourself for a few hours by all means check this out hero of the kingdom it's on steam there's worse things on steam that's all i can say for it